Today I built a crazy food chain mutation combo that is honestly one of the most fun decks that I have played in Gods Unchained. Let's immediately dive in. The win condition of this deck is going to be the food chain combo that we all love or hate, but we're also going to be pairing a combo with a lot of mutations, and this is where the Wayward Hats come into play, the Leyline Feeders as well. The mutation card is a one mana spell that transforms spells into our hand into random nature spells with a one mana cost higher, but the spells that were just transformed keep their current mana cost. And that is going to help us make some amazing combo plays with the ultimate goal of getting our 8 mana hollow form spells and playing them very very cheaply to dominate the board and our opponents. This deck is still not optimized but I really wanted to showcase it to you guys so don't go trying it out in mythic yet but let's actually try it out in the ranked ladder to see how it performs. This time we're playing against the deception domain. Let's see how this one is going to go. It looks to be a guild deck and these are generally quite strong so let me just use my get power here we're going to get a leviathan scales that's not too bad let me deal one damage to my opponent and end my turn um, we can clear the board now with my dread deer and i think this is what i'm going to do with the ley line feeder as well okay let me just deal one damage to my opponent and then let me play my dread deer it's going to clear the board but also give the tempo back to my opponent so what do we do now my opponent is just going to use their get power which is kind of okay and new growth wow okay I think I'm going to throw my Nefarious Briar down on the board and the reason is that I want to play my Leyline Feeder on the next turn hopefully on this creature to get 4 mutations basically my opponent is just going to use Target Power again and the Stone Skin Poison we really don't mind that we were going to sacrifice this creature anyway oh we have a Blade Fly as well that is so huge but let me immediately know I kind of have to play this first and then let me just play you and then I think I also need to use the extra mana to play one mutation on these spells otherwise we're going to burn a card on the next turn and I really don't want to do that a stone skin potion for my opponent we really don't mind that either basically we're ramping up that's kind of unlucky for my opponent since we're going to keep this creature alive for now let me play you then I am going to use my god power find the great ice blessing that's going to be so huge because as soon as I play my three mutations that's going to be a hollow form in a couple of turns and we're already getting some very strong spells yep not looking too bad let me just deal two more damage to my opponent and that's the end of our turn and guys we're ramping up towards our win condition a leviathan scales for my opponent but we don't really mind that we also have a crescent werewolf we are just looking for our food chain let me start by using my god power we can find the words wake that's interesting then i can play mutation and now we finally have a hollow form here drag down as well that's really really cool <laughs> great ice blessing let me actually attack you because i don't really need that and i think that i can just also attack here and then i'm ending my turn that's going to add three bombs into my deck but i don't really mind that at the moment yeah that's going to be it okay here is my food chain and guys we can actually play that now as well along with our hollow form on the next turn i think we're definitely winning this game let me just play my crescent werewolf then i am going to play my blade fly to immediately summon those three blade flies and actually give bleeds to a couple of those since we have the hunter's guide but regardless of that i think i can play my great ice blessing as well um, let me actually get rid of you because i or actually no no let me get that let me do that because that's going to give me five mana back right oh no because my hand is full but regardless now i can play the food chain card and since i have the hunter's guide alive that is also going to immediately give bleeds the creatures that I summon, which is a really cool interaction, check it out. Because these were not summoned from my hand, they were just summoned, check it out. That's an amazing interaction. I am not sure if you have seen that one before. So now my creatures do have bleeds as well, and I can immediately attack you. And yeah, that's it for now. And I'm just ending my turn. And I think that it is very difficult to recover from that, unless my opponent plays a toast to piece. Hunting trap, that's okay. Minus one creature. But if this creature survive, guys, we can actually win on the next turn as well since we have hollow form. Oh, let's see what my opponent is going to do with that. <laughs> we don't really mind that creature either. Let me just play hollow form as planned. That is going to give plus five to all of my creatures on the board. And we have a small chance. Oh no, we can win the game immediately since I can also play drag down to destroy my opponent's turtle right here. And guys, just like that, our food chain mutation combo is here to win the game. We are playing against the nature domain and now it is time to try out my meme mutation deck against what is probably going to be a very competitive archetype. 
let me immediately start by playing Irina down on the board and then I'm ending my turn. My opponent is going to draw a card, okay, that's probably a food chain deck that we're playing against. So let me immediately use my gut power. We're going to find the Crawling Madness, that's going to be so handy. My opponent is just going to use their gut power, uh, which makes my life quite easy because I can play my cornered hauler here to attack this. And the reason I did that is that if this creature survives, we can play my Leyline Feeder on the next turn and get three mutations. The trial begins. So, so guys, it is a food chain deck that we're playing against. And basically, we're on a clock right now. That's a lootable corpse from my opponent. Let me just attack this to make sure that we deal three more damage to my opponent. Then I am going to dread touch my Leyline Feeder to get three mutations in my hand. I'm ending my turn afterwards. And now we really need to start using those before my opponent runs away with a game. Rust away? What? They just want to get another nature card, but that's very okay with me. And then they're just going to use their get power. That's still very okay for us because mutation number one, mutation number two, and then probably mutation number three is coming into play. Then I am probably trading this creature. I am also going to throw down my ambitious adventurer on the board. Let me just attack my opponent directly. Again, we have a blade fly. My opponent is going to start with target power and then they're just going to throw down their dreaded deer. That's going to trade the board. So that's a very strong play. In all honesty, I am going to play my druidic summons here and follow up with that which feeds us. Let's start throwing this guy on the board and that's the end of my turn. A lightning strike for my opponent. That's still quite okay. I'm still waiting to find uh, my Wayward Hat, so let me just use my God Power. We have a Hollow Form actually, but I don't really want that, so let me get another Swelling Boom. Let me just attack this, and then I guess I'm playing this as well, and ending my turn. Oh wow, that's a lot of health. Oh, Path of Nature for my opponent, that's okay. They want to find probably that which feeds us, or their Blade Flies, to pull their combo off. We have another Leyline Feeder, which is honestly really, really cool. Because I can attack my opponent directly, and then I'm getting a couple more mutations in my hand, and I am definitely playing those immediately. Yep, you have a Winter's Bounty and a Photogenesis, so let me play that again. And guys, now we finally have our Hollow Form, and on the next turn you are going to see exactly what this deck is about. Because I can play my Blade Fly and my Hollow Form immediately to create a very strong board. An Ember Only, what is my opponent even playing? I mean. As planned, I'm just going to play my Blade Flies down on the board and then I'm going to follow up with my Hollow Form, guys, to make my creature so strong immediately and also buff the creatures in my hand. That is a very strong interaction, that is a very strong card. Let me immediately take this, then I am dealing 8 damage to my opponent and ending my turn. Basically, this is the combo that I wanted to pull off. And now we have some wild creatures on steroids in our hand as well and we can practically trade anything that my opponent plays and I think we just won the game. My opponent has a lot of cards, let's see if they find any answers. That is just a god power and then... Regression! Oh, that's a counter. That's actually a counter, but we're still not going to hurt that much. And blood in the water, okay. Wow, my opponent is actually going to clear the board, kinda. But guess what, I just top deck my wayward hat. I am going to play that immediately, let me just attack my opponent directly. Then I am going to dread touch that which feeds us because that's going to give me another mutation. And in all honesty, I can even play a dread deer down on the board as well to get another mutation. And guys, we're going to get another hollow form very, very soon. Our board is very, very scary right now. Blood in the water again for my opponent, actually. And that's going to clear the board. Wow. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, let me just use my god power here. Let's get Springs Harvest. And then I'm just going to play my mutation, number one. We have a hollow form. Already we have another hollow form. Let me immediately get you. And I am actually going to play my swashbuckler to deal one damage to my opponent. And play another hollow form, why not? Follow up with another mutation. Yep, and that's going to be the end of our turn. Shredder, wow, that's a strong creature. Ah, that's how we're doing it. Okay, okay, makes sense. But still, let me just get my Gleam Weaver here. Because I can play that immediately, then follow up with my Wayward Hat. Uh, let me get rid of the Shredder and Irina from the Void, doesn't really matter too much. Then I can Dread Touch you, then I am clearing this creature. I am going to use my God Power to find another spell. Let's get an Undersea Harvest, and then I'm going to play another Mutation. And guys, we have a lot of spells. Lash out for my opponent, not the end of the world. Yep, wow, they have all the answers as well. Cool, I guess let me just use my god power here. 
We have opalized roots, which is not too bad actually. Or I can even play revivification. Let me do that. And then I can play photogenesis. We have a giant pangolin that we can play immediately. Oh, and you are also very, very useful. And you know what? I'm going to play you right now. I could have actually used this guy to find lethal now that I think about it. But it's not bad either. And yep, yeah, I'm ending my turn. My opponent is at 10 health now. A winter's bounty, okay, make that 30. We have that which feeds us, and that is also very, very cool because I can play that immediately. Let me do that onto you. Then I think I can play Fire Wine. We have a few creatures on the board anyway, so that's going to be 12 damage to my opponent, 10 more damage. Uh, make that 6 more, and now they are at 2 health. You know what? I can even get my Lambasting Wand, and if they don't heal up again. I think the game is ours. And we still have another hollow form in our hand. Can you heal up and clear the board at the same time? I highly doubt it. And yep, guys, we win the game. Just like that, our food chain mutation deck is actually doing great. This time we're playing against the death domain. I already have a wayward hat in my hand, which I'm really happy about. So I'm just going to throw Irina down on the board. And then I'm ending my turn. And guys, we can probably get a couple of mutations out of those two cards. Oh, a blade fly as well. That's so cool. I think regression is going to come into play on the next turn probably. So let me just use my get power here. We're going to find... Let's get guerrilla training because that is going to become a much stronger spell on the next few turns. My opponent is going to trade. That's okay. Oh, what? Oh, we can never let that survive. So let me immediately play my cornered hauler down on the board. What is that? And who plays Gariel? What the heck? Let me try to trade this. Okay, that's going to happen. And then I can even trade that creature. And guys, on the next turn, I am probably playing my Wayward Hat and the Blade Flies to get three mutations back. That's going to be very, very handy. Okay, here it goes. Yep, that's the play. Let's see what my opponent is going to do now. Oh, what is that? That's a meme card. What an interesting play. Uh, but Regression is going to destroy my opponent on the next turn. So let me actually do play Regression immediately. Or you know what? I can even clear the board with a Dread Deer. Yeah. Let me try to attack one of those. Yep, that's going to work. So, Dread Deer onto you. And that's going to obliterate my opponent's board. That is such a strong card. Just for 3 mana. And guys, as planned, I'm just going to start using the mutations in my hand. Boom. That's Sudden Rally. Wow, that's a lot of stuff actually. We can play another one. And now we have so much tempo. Even if we don't get all the way to up to 8 mana, play our hollow forms. I don't think that my opponent can never recover. That's a kind of strong creature. We have another blade fly here. Let me just use my get power. I mean, I can just get play lightning strike or let me get dragged down and then play another mutation. And let's see what options we're going to be offered now. Trial of the Hydra. Oh, we have a poison dart. And you can play that to get rid of you. And then I am attacking my opponent directly. And that's about it for now. Another one of those, okay. We have a Path of Nature here. That's interesting. I mean, I can just play my Imperious Might, in all honesty. Clear my opponent's creature. And then I can play Pack Succession. To summon a 5 mana Wild Creature. Yep, that's also very, very good here. Let me just attack my opponent directly. And guys, I think we won this game. This was some weird variation of the zombie deck. Oh, what the heck is that? These are some very weird cards. Um, can we win the game now? Probably not. Let me try to attack this. Then I'm going to play Path of Nature to you. And we can get a Leyline Feeder. That's actually what I wanted. Then I can Dread Touch this to get four more mutations in my hand. And I'm going to play one of those immediately. And guys, on the next turn, I think that we are practically winning the game. I am not actually going to attack with this for now. My opponent is going to just attack with this. That's okay. That's a lot of creatures on the board. But what can we do? I can play another mutation here. We have a swallow hole. We also have photogenesis for two. Okay, let me actually play that. Then I am playing another mutation immediately. And then I can play my blade flies, guys. And use a hollow form just for two mana. That's going to immediately give bleeds to all of my creatures. And plus five, five. That is so insanely strong. And let me try to clear this. That's going to miss. That's okay, though. Let me try to clear this. That is also going to miss. Let me try to clear this now. Okay, finally that's going to happen. And let me also try to deal 9 damage to my opponent. That is going to miss as well. But not the end of the world because we just won the game with our mutations. I don't think that my opponent can ever do anything to recover. And yep, that's probably game over. Let me play another hollow form. That's going to hopefully be 14. No, that's going to miss. Can we 
just attack. Yep, and the game is ours, just like that. Overall, I think that this tech can do with some fine tuning, but the core idea is very fun, it can work, but it's not very consistent. Because there are some games, and especially towards the higher end of Mythic, we are going to be losing against some one-hit KO combo decks, like the Relic War, like, like Arandion decks, or Card Draw Magic. Regardless, thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did, don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to make a comment immediately, because that enters you into my weekly giveaways, and this week we're giving away 200 gadgets tokens and lastly don't forget to subscribe because i upload gadgets and chain content like this every single day guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new deck idea enjoy